You've just brought some profitable products. Now you're asking, how do you actually ship them into Amazon as fast as possible? Well, today I'm gonna to walk you through a brand new five minute workflow that members in our community have been testing and raving about. Now this covers everything from lifting, prep and even shipping into Amazon itself. Now, whether you are doing it on your computer or scanning products on your phone, I'm going to be doing this all completely live to show you how it works. If you don't know, this is Seller Board's new reseller workflow, which is super efficient. And I know what you're thinking. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Actually, no. In the description down below, you can get a two month free trial using my link where normally on their website, you can only get a one month free trial. Even better, after that, this is just going to cost you nine $19 per month. And you're going to see how easy it is, which is an amazing value for money. Let's get started. So I've got my mobile app right now and I'll share that on screen for you. So the one thing that we want to do is you can come in and click on barcode scanner. But before I do that, I like to create a buyer list, which is useful. So I'm just going to come click on this little icon over here, which is the shopping cart. I'm going to click on create buy list. And then we're going to call this like test uh, two, for example. So I like creating test. So while well, you can see test two has now just popped up. So what I'm now going to do is click on barcode scanner and I've got my nature's bounty right here. Wonderful product. Uh, and obviously I can just highlight the barcode and scan that one. So wait for that to scan. Voila, it'll pick up. Now what you can see when this comes up is you can see the listing of what's on Amazon right now. It'll show you all the sellers. You can flick between FDA and FDM, new used, for example. You can look at the profitability at the top, but we actually do that later on or details of the product itself. But obviously you can see details there. Now, what I'm going to do is basically choose, you can click on actually a product price. If you want to like choose that price, for example, you can do that and then work out the profitability. So if you want to put the cost of goods in, you can do that. So I'm just going to click add to buy list. So you're going to see here, this is great. And what I can actually do is put in my cost of goods. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to get it for a wonderful $1.50. I know, super cheap. Um, but also as well, I can put in my expiry date if I want to do that. Absolutely fine. Um, and then also as well, condition or quantity, how many I've got, and then condition. But if I want to change these later on, I can do that on the computer. It really doesn't matter. But it kind of gives you an idea how much profit I'm generating, what's the price I'm selling it for. Really, really simple. Um, and that's going to be really useful. And obviously, you've got that buy list right there. So let's click. And I can also add a comment if I want as well. So let's click add and add that to that buy list. And then now let's get my next one. So we're going to scan my whey protein. Super important this one is. Obviously, everyone needs some whey protein in life. Get, get some protein. So we'll give that a quick scan. Wait for that to scan. There we go. Picked it up. Scanning. And obviously, it shows you the offers. So again, we want to choose the one that we've got, which is great. And then I'm just going to come in and actually put in that. So I can do add product to buy list. Really simple, put in my cost of goods. I'm going to be picking up for like $20, for example. And then if I need to put in different expiry dates, I can do that. But no, I'm pretty happy. I'm already on test two. And I'm going to click add. So that's now added into my buy list. So fantastic. And if I come back into my buy list, I can see here test two. And obviously I can see I've got those two products in there, which is great. So let's now jump onto the computer and show you how this actually now translates over to the computer and go from there. When you come into Sellerboard, the first thing you want to do is log in and you want to come down to here where it says inventory and you want to go to the reseller workflow. Now, this is obviously the workflow we're going through. Actually, Sellerboard has got many other features in it, which you can see right here. But Let's go to reseller workflow, which is where we are right now. But the first thing we want to do is create an actual workflow. So come down here and we'll click create workflow. And so we can give it a name if we want. We can create start date, obviously today. If we want to choose a supplier, maybe doing wholesale, we can do that as well. Channel and then obviously marketplace you can sell on to. Now we want to import data. So let me show you how we do that, and which is really products. And remember, we scan someone on our phone. So right here, we've got obviously import. Now what we can do is click down here and we've got test two. Remember that one we did on the phone right there? We can click on that, absolutely fantastic. Or if we want to, we can download their template, fill that out, and you can upload the template, or you can actually import it from Google Sheets, which I think is an amazing thing because a lot of times we actually just export from a calculator tool doing online arbitrage, and we want to save those products. Cool, we can do it here, absolutely easy. I'm just going to download this quickly. You're going to see right here, these are the columns that you need to create in order to upload listings to the workflow. So really simply just ASIN, SKU, quantity, price, condition, you get to choose, the expiry date, dangerous goods, batteries required, and then obviously COX. That's it. Really, really simple, easy to upload. Now, obviously, we're going to be choosing our test two, and so we're just going to click import and obviously bring that into a new shipment. So let's create batch, and that's now going to take what we've just scanned and bring that into a shipment we're now creating. So once we load into here, the 
the first thing I want you to look at is just along the top. It talks you through the stages we're about to go through. So products and offers, what we're actually going to be shipping. Then we're going to talk about prep and we can print all the labels in there as well. And then we're going to talk about how we're going to actually package it and put it into the boxes. And we can print the box labels and even 2D labels there as well. Shipments and then the tracking details to actually get it shipped. And we could even look at all the different options around shipping and how we do that as well. So I'll show you that. It's really, really good. So first of all, we've got the batch name again, supplier. So if you want to update these, really simple. So we've got these couple of products already. So remember, we scanned these earlier on. We can see one is already lifted and one is not. So it's unlisted. So we do need to create that offer. But again, here it's going to automatically give us a SKU. And a lot of time what it does do is it puts in information into the SKU. And you could also actually create your own custom format, which I think is amazing. Um, so that's super useful. And then on on top of here you can add edit the number of units so if you want to put in like we're going to do four units of this and two units of that we can change the price change the condition put the expiry date if you want and obviously update the cost of goods put that in there as well so like 10 and like you know one one dollar fifty for that one really really simple and again if it's dangerous goods great and obviously if batteries required no problem so once we've got products that we need to create the listing we do just want to click create listing it's going to show us and then we can create that listing and that's going to do that in the background and we can continue to work on this so that's creating the offer right now now let's say for example if i want to add something from my existing catalog i can scroll down look at my current inventory so it might be like this i want to add that in so i've got two units of this we're going to put in as well absolutely fine that's already listed now perhaps maybe i've completely forgotten to scan a product or maybe download it and i need to do it really quickly well instead of actually having to relist it or do it that way you can actually just click on search the amazon catalog so here i might just type in like on sneakers so i can search the amazon catalog and obviously start trying to find that product so i might be like ah, oh, women's size 10 great let's create that offer and I'm going to put in here, obviously it's going to let me create that offer. So price 154, condition, absolutely fine. I can put the cogs in there if I want. I don't have to. That's something to think about. So I might say $50, create offer. And obviously we're just going to create the shipping now. So this is all what we're able to do is we're able to, number one, scan through our phones. Number two, we can create a listing from a spreadsheet or even from our calculator tool. Or number three, we can actually search from Amazon on the software and just add products on the go, which is super simple and makes your life so much easier. Now we're just going to get these products created and then we can move through to the next section. So here we go. What it does say is, do you want to create a new first in, first out batch? So if you're using a lot of like inventory for groceries, this can be really, really useful. But for me, most of the time, I'd just say no, proceed without. So we'll go through. Now, what it does, obviously, is still creating those listings. And what we're going to do here is just have a look at, this is now on the prep details. So what prep is required? And once these offers are created, we'll see what prep's needed. But if we want to do prep on here, so for example, like uh, we can put in different prep that we're going to be doing and who needs to do it and obviously prep by and the label owner who's doing the labeling and what labeling and other prep we need which is going to just make our lives so so much easier in understanding how we're going to manage them again if we want to put in the expiry date we have another option to do it there and you can see recommended quantity now on top of that obviously if you do have like the labels you can click here and actually download the labels for that product so you can choose the different sizes or even custom which is super simple and there you go that's going to be very easy for printing out stickers for you to put on the products. Now, the other thing which I will add is if you do do wholesale, you can, can create orders through Sellerboard and it's got the option to do that as PO. So absolutely amazing. So many optionality to add products into a workflow, which allows you to get products listed and shipped into Amazon. So we've got everything listed and you can see here now everything says that listed. And obviously what we can do is obviously choose the prep. So I'm just going to go no prep, no prep, no prep, no prep required. So we're not going to prep these at all labeling obviously we're going to put stickers on them for ourselves it says here no prep required either which is great so absolutely amazing all good there that is everything now set up and obviously if we want labels we can print them out we can obviously choose here obviously like ships from and create the name but let's do the next so we're going to move through so updated prep details for we need to send to amazon then set board will proceed with the shipment plan creation apply now one of the things you can see here is we've actually listed a product that i'm not eligible to sell which is great so that one i'm going to have to remove from my shipment then the other two obviously is telling them I need to set an expiry date. So what I need to do is put that expiry date in. And it does just tell you if you hover over, it says it needs to be at least 105 days. So I'm going to put this into the future. So we'll call it October the 1st or October, end of September. And again, we want to click on this one and come back to September. Put that in at the end. So nice and simple. Okay, so we've now selected the products we're going to be shipping in and got all the labels for them. Now we've got to talk about which boxes we're going to put them in, how we're going to actually pack them. So 
what you can see right here is it's got box and you can literally click add new box if you want so for us we're just going to use the one box it's nice and simple and then what we can do is choose which one of the products we're going to put in that box so again we can go in if we want or we can add a new box and do that so how many units are we going to put in so here we've got four units total so i can put in all four i can put in all two and i can say for example i'm going to put in three here and now I put in one, it tells you how many you're missing, and obviously what needs to happen next. So really useful there. And then what you obviously can do here is put in the box sizes. So we're going to say this is going to be a 10 by 20 by uh, 30. And it, obviously that's too high. So now I need to come back and put that as 25. So that's it. And then obviously I'm going to weigh the box. I can put that in, so call it 30 pounds. Box contents, I can provide it, do manual or even 2D barcodes, which is great as well. So you can see that. Then at any point I can click save if I want to come back out or next, I'll go next and we can actually go into the shipments. And this is the, the best bit. Now what you can see is he's got one shipment here. It gives you the fees. So it tells you how much it's going to cost. You can actually choose the regions that you ship to. It's just going to let you choose where you're going to ship to and see the cost on that, which is really good. So, for example, I can see in Florida or California, we've got Amazon small parcel delivery, shows you there. I'll see what price you're going to pay and then small parcel delivery there, non-partner carrier. And obviously, it's completely up to you in the way you do the shipping. Obviously, I probably won't want to pay $60 to ship this in. But the idea is, is it's going to give you a good idea of like the cost that can happen and how you want to get that into Amazon. Now, on top of that, finally, what we can do is obviously select the, the shipment date. So what day are we going to ship it? And obviously, today I can ship it on the 14th. And then obviously there's a delivery window as well. So when are we looking to get that shipped in? So it's saying the 26th. I've got the products here, nice and simple. Accept charges and confirm shipping. So we can click on that. And basically it's going to create that new entry when Amazon Seller Central. So let's click accept. And you can see here it's all created. And then obviously now I can actually download all the labels if I want to and get access to them, which is really good. And so I've just logged into my Seller Central. And you can see right here that shipment has just been created, which is great. And obviously I can now get that shipment sent straight into Amazon and then that will go live and I can start selling it. I've got to say, I'm loving this new reseller workflow. It's a game changer. And for those people in our community who have been testing this, and especially with Q4 coming up, it's really made their lives so much easier. Now, whether you're into OA or RA, it can just change the game. So just remember, be sure to use the link down below because you are going to be able to get your two month free trial. And after that, it's only $19, which is crazy. Easily the best value software that I have found for doing this and so much more. Just remember, Sellerboard isn't just a listing software, it's getting you shipment creation, it's actually a profit and loss management software, it shows you your PL, helps you manage your inventory, and even can help you reclaim stock and to do so much more. Now, one of the key things we've used Sellerboard for in the past and still do to this day is getting seller reviews. And I actually created a video about how to do this using Sellerboard and how you compete against sellers who are much bigger than you by getting more reviews by using this technique, which is part of Sellerboard. So check the link around here. Now, if you like this, video give me a big thumbs up and hey hit that subscribe button and use the link down below but for myself have a great day and i'll see you in the next one